Hi everyone. Hi Diane. Yes, I have a what's old video. Uh, it's Sunday, every Sunday at four o'clock. I have a what's old from the week before. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I sell on eBay and Poshmark mostly. Um, I do have a few things on Mercari, but I haven't been active on there at all. So I haven't made a sale there in ages. Uh, I think I have enough trouble keeping the two platforms I do. Uh, so let's wait a few minutes uh, until people come in, hopefully. I sold... Uh, when I opened that shoe box last week, one of the pairs of shoes I got was a Hush Puppies. And I thought, oh, well, that probably won't sell. But it's the first one that sold. I sold the pair of Hush Puppies, in fact, today. Uh, my hair is long and it's just stuck behind my ears. I do have to call and get an appointment. I keep saying that and I keep forgetting. But, uh, anyway, yes, I, um, I had to, uh, call the dog in. It's a beautiful day here and, uh, it's like 74 degrees out right now. <clears throat> so I've tried to be out most, uh, for a lot today because this isn't going to last. It's going to last a few days. I think today's the warmest though. And, you know, that's what happens in the fall. We have little uh, spurts of warmer weather and it spoils you. And then all of a sudden the bottom drops out and you freeze to death. So, yeah, I've been out uh, trying to be out a lot today. Enjoying the scenery. The leaves are changing here. It's gorgeous. So, uh. Yeah, I sold uh, I sell? 21 eBay items this past week and 12 items on Poshmark. So, uh, yeah, almost half and half now. So Poshmark's catching up. I do try to list every single day on Poshmark. Usually the same things I put on eBay, I put on Poshmark, but then I add a few uh, for my inventory that I never did put on Poshmark. And so it ends up being that I'm adding a few more on Poshmark uh, every day. And I think that's why I'm making more sales, of course. <clears throat> so let me get started here. I have to uh, find this thing here. I'm going to share my screen and start telling you uh, what I sold. What time is it? It's five after, I think so. Yeah. Okay, the first thing I think I sold these last Sunday. Um, the first thing is this pair of Toms, slide on, just slide on loafer type shoes. Tom shoes are made of fabric and like a canvas type thing. These were blue. They sort of all look the same. And uh, these were an eight. W and I think that stands for the women's because there's men's and women's Tom shoes. And I think the W instead of wide, I think it stands for women on Tom shoes. So I sold these for $11.52. I had, um, I think last Sunday, I still had the 30% off as it shows there, 30% off uh, sale. Then starting on Monday, I think I had all this week, I just had a 15% off sale. So this, uh, 
this was, <clears throat> this is, uh, let's see. I think the next couple have the 30% off. So let's go to the next thing here. <clears throat> uh, this is by No Boundaries. No Boundaries, I think, is a Target brand. It could be a Walmart brand. I'm not sure. Could be Walmart. Uh, this was a little fit and flare junior dress. I would have not ever picked this up because I don't pick up junior sizes. Uh, I've had it quite a while. It's a little fit and flare short dress. It sold for $13.08. And yes, this had the 30% off sale, but I was very happy to sell this. This had free shipping on it. Uh, I'm trying to take most of the free shipping that I did try out. Uh, I'm trying to take it, find it, and take it off. But this still had it, and quite a few other things that I sold this week had free shipping. Uh, so out of that $13.08, I yep, also take off cost of goods, which I think this came in a box, so it wasn't probably over $2.00. But then I paid $5.38, so I hardly made anything on this little dress, but it's out of my inventory and makes room for something better. Uh, next thing is a pair of Lucky Brand uh, jeans. This is the Lolita Skinny Ankle Jeans in a size 4 or a 27 medium wash. Um, these sold for $12.59, still the 30% off uh, sale. So these must have sold on Sunday. They went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm telling, I'm forgetting where are these other. Um, the little dress went to California, and the Tom shoes went to Indiana. And this went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> I sold the Sarah Cable Knit Red Infinity Scarf. This is uh, just in time for winter. It's cable knit, and this came in a box. And it sold for $11.99. Uh, this, this, did this have a sale? This, this must have been before I put the sale on, on Monday. So that was good, because this went free shipping. So... Out of that $11.99, I paid $5.38 in shipping. So, <clears throat> um, okay, this cost me nothing really because I've had these a long time. This was uh, one of the things I found when I rid out my cupboards in the kitchen when I was decluttering. These are really little. They're tiny little mixing bowls. They're really cute. I think I got them from Goodwill, uh, mostly because of the color, red and white, and also that they were just so cute. The little one was just tiny. It was probably no more than four inches across, the, the little one. So not very big at all. Uh, their, their big one was only not even six inches across. So... These sold for $14.77, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. And they paid shipping of $14.70. So I only paid shipping of $11.97. So I did make a little bit on this shipping, $2.73. So these went to Goldsboro, uh, Maine. <clears throat> this is by J. Jill. It's a thin knit sweater. Uh, almost like burnout fabric, but it was a knit sweater. And this was a size, uh, what size? Small. It was a linen blend, three quarter sleeves in this orange, pretty orange color, fall. It went to Carmel, Indiana. And it sold for $15.89. This is what's where, see, the 15% off uh, sale starts. 
So all this week, uh, these everything will be. I don't think. Well, I think my whole closet, my whole uh, store was fifteen off. So everything should be fifteen off. <clears throat> yeah, fifteen eighty nine. They sold this sold for. Uh, this was an uh, by Arizona Jeans Company. That's um, I don't know if I picked this up or if this came in a box. I I don't remember. I've had it quite a long time. It was an extra large. Um, it had a racer uh, racer back. Sold for fourteen forty four. That's an offer I sent out to watchers, and it went to Beechwood, Ohio, right on the east side here uh, of Cleveland. <clears throat> Uh, this is a Forever 21 high waist mini skirt. I think I bought this because I do buy these little mini skirts, plaid mini skirts. This was pleated, uh, size medium. <clears throat> I put the words preppy and academia on there. It sold for $18.67 with this 15% off. Went to Nashville, Tennessee. However, this is one of the things that I have free shipping on. So I did pay $4.67 towards the shipping. <clears throat> I think I'll spend the eve the rest of the evening uh, hunting for the rest of the things that have free shipping on and take them off. Uh, this is a shirt by Ted Baker. Uh, I might have picked this up at Goodwill. Uh, this uh, is a men's size 7. Now, Ted Baker, I believe, is a really good brand of shirt that's made in the UK. And they size their um, shirts differently. The size 7 in a US is a size 46. So this is a big shirt. Uh, has convertible sleeves, if you flip, like flip sleeves flip sleeves. It was a really nice looking shirt. It sold for $36.46 with the 15 off. They paid shipping and it went to Watertown, Wisconsin. <clears throat> Here are the Ariat boots that I got. I got these on my last uh, Goodwill trip. Uh, Ariat is a brand that you will always pick up, even if these were in really good condition. But even if they're not in excellent condition, they will sell. Ariat is a brand that uh, anybody that uh, anybody that has a horse, anybody that does that type of uh, farming or work working in the with animals in the on the farm. Horse riders, they all know this brand. This was the Ariat Heritage Roper Western Boot. This was only a size six and a half women's. However, it sold right away. These sold for $45.04, which was with the 15 off. And they paid shipping, thank goodness. And uh, went to Clemens, Iowa. <clears throat> this is an Ann Taylor petite denim dress, sleeveless. It had its own belt there and zipper pockets. Um, yeah, I've had this a while. It's a, it's a size small petite. And it sold for $17.76 on sale. Went to El Cajon, El Cajon California. <clears throat> Now, I just recently got this. I picked this up at Goodwill. This is American Eagle. This was a boho top, uh, large balloon sleeves. It had an open back. The entire back was open there. And it was this pretty lavender, really light lavender color. Sold for $14.44. And uh, it went to Huntington Beach, California. Big 
dump truck went past. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> uh, Banana Republic. This is a fitted trench coat. I've had this a while. It wasn't in that great of a condition. I'm not sure even where I got this. I don't think I picked it up. I think it came in a thread up box. It was fully lined. It looks really nice there. Somebody bought it and asked that they please try to get to it to them before Halloween. So this is going to become part of a Halloween costume. So I don't think it really matters if it's not in pristine condition. This sold for $14.02 with the sale. And it's going to Weldon Spring. Um, Mich Mich no, M-O, Missouri. <laughs> I had a brain fart there. M-O, Missouri. Okay, $14.02. And they paid shipping of $11. So they actually paid $25.02 for this. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, cable knit sweater, women's small, turtleneck. Unfortunately, this is coming back to me. Uh, it didn't fit the person, so it's being returned as we speak. So I will get to sell it again. It did sell. Uh, it tried to be sold for $15.89, but... It's going to come home again, and I will resell it. It did go to Leesburg, Virginia, and back. <clears throat> this is a pair of Maurice's premium den denim short shorts, almost like booty shorts, in a size 14. Distressed, sold for $14.30. They paid shipping, and these went to St. Mary's, Ohio. A little pair of booty shorts. Thought that was kind of funny. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters. These are jeans, um, women's jeans, size 12 regular, in the Artist Flare. That's the uh, style name. And they sold for $16.99. That's a 15 off. And they went to Lottie. L-A-W-T-E-Y, Lottie, Florida, down to Florida. <clears throat> and this is by Club Room Luxury Cashmere. I think Club Room is a uh, department store brand. I'm not sure. I think so. Uh, this is a men's sweater in a large. This was cashmere, 100% cashmere. V-neck, long sleeve, really soft, of course. Went to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And they did pay shipping on that. Whoop, where'd you go? <clears throat> okay, Athleta Women's Small Quilted Jacket with Faux Sherp. Sherpa detailing. I have to say, I, I got this in a box. This came in a thread up box. I've had it well over a year, probably close to two years. This is one of the ugliest. I hope the person isn't listening who bought this, but this is, I think, one of the ugliest jackets I've seen. But finally, after lowering the price many times, I don't know what I started it out because it was Athleta, but uh, it finally sold for $16.77, and that's an offer I sent out to watchers. Um, I did put on there that it was just in fair condition because it's been washed, machine washed, and it, you know, the Sherpa doesn't look so hot on it. So I hope they read that. I do hope I don't get this jacket back <clears throat> because if I do, I think it's going to get redonated. I'm really tired of looking at it. It went to Raleigh, Illinois. So hopefully, and they paid shipping on it too. So hopefully they will, they will like it. It's probably warm. Uh, 
I sold a tie. I think next week, maybe I'm going to put all my ties 50 or 60% off. I have a tremendous amount of ties and they very seldom sell anymore. So I'm going to put a huge sale on them. This is by Croft and Barrow. Uh, just a yellow and blue stripe. I did reduce this and send out an offer to $8.77 and somebody bought it from Lawrence, South Carolina. So they did pay shipping of $4.50 on that. So, yeah, so that's good. I got what's well, one less tie. Uh, this is by Knox Rose. This was really soft uh, knit, like knit sweater. Uh, it was heavier. It's a sweater. It's heavier than a top, than just a knit top. It had lace up poles on the side. It was this gray uh, heather type with this big cowl neck. Extra, extra large size. Sold for $14.02. They paid shipping and it went to Gil Gilbert's, Illinois. And the last thing on eBay that I sold was this um, American Eagle Outfitters. This is the soft and sexy line of their t-shirts. Had a pocket there on it. It was black and sort of grayish taupe color. Uh, cap. Oh, those are more than cap sleeves, I think. Well, no. If you look at the seam, they probably are cap sleeves. Sold for eight, uh, 1677 which is an offer I sent out. And this went to Mount Lake Terrace, Washington. Way out to Washington State. So that's what I sold on eBay. So <clears throat> let's see what I sold on Poshmark. The first thing is by Belladonna. It was a hooded lightweight jacket, like a spring or a fall jacket. Um, women's large, had flap pockets, zip front, another zip pocket there, uh, and a hood. So this was a perfect little spring jacket. And it sold for $18. And they, uh, I made $14.40 after Poshmark takes out their 20%. <clears throat> this is by Adrian uh, Vitadini. Open. Uh, this was an open cardigan or open, this is long, like almost like a coat or a dress, an open dress, uh, open knit cardigan, women's extra large, had this, these metal studs which were flat like discs on the front here. I think they went around the neck too and on the um, sleeves. So this sold for $33, and out of $33, I made $26.40. <clears throat> I, I remember picking this one up because I think the colors were just the perfect fall shirt. This is by Duluth Trading Company. It's a flannel shirt, and it's a women's size large. This would be the perfect over shirt to wear in the fall. Um, sold for $20. Uh, out of 20, I made $16. And it went to Connie at Lake, Pennsylvania, which is not too far from where I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is by Torrid. It's just their size zero, which is like a large, I believe. Um, light flannel shirt in this blue or black and green color sold for $27 went to Jefferson Texas and this had a shipping discount on it so I made $19.88 on that shirt this is by Splendid um, I can tell by the lighting here it's coming from the side I think this is one of the Pictures I took out outside probably last spring uh, because I, I 
leaned my board up against the porch and the light was coming from the side. Not that you care, but uh, this was new with tag, stretchy top um, in this pretty blue color, high low hem, sold for $16. And went to Cincinnati, Ohio. I made $12.80. This is a Brooks Brothers women's um, button-up shirt in a size 16. Uh, green and white stripe. And <coughs> this sold for $18. <coughs> went to Wimbledon, North Dakota. I made $14.40. <clears throat> Here is one of my good sales. This cool zip front fleece jacket. I believe I got this in a box, but I might have found this. I'm not sure. Seems to me I probably got it in a box, but um, it seems to me the 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 way I get the better things, like the the uh, brands that people talk about uh, are usually coming in the thread up boxes because I don't really see them when I go shopping as much. I see more bread and butter things and uh, yeah. But this sold for $41 and out of $41 uh, there was a shipping discount. This is an offer sent out by the VA that I have and I made $31.08 on this jacket, little fleece jacket. This is a men's uh, shirt, button-up shirt in a size 2XL. This is a men's linen blend short sleeve shirt. Uh, new with tags. This sold for $15. Out of $15, I made $12 on this little shirt. And uh, this is a Pendleton long sleeve jacket. This, it zipped up the front and then this had this placket that covered the zipper. It had little zip pockets here too. This was a really nice looking jacket as Pendleton things always are. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. I don't know why it took so long to sell. Um, this probably in the store costs over $200. It sold on Poshmark for $36. And I made $28.80. This went to Fillmore, California. This is by J. Jill. It's a mohair cardigan sweater. Really, really uh, almost see-through. Well, it is. See, you can see my mannequin down there. Uh, really lightweight and airy uh, five button cardigan and uh, it sold for $18 and I made $14.40 this went to Elkins Park Pennsylvania American Eagle stretch jeans these are in a women's size 14 short boot cut their size uh, are sold for $18. They did have a shipping discount, so I made $12.68. And they went to Andrews, North Carolina. Whoop, come back here. And the last thing, Lily Pulitzer, extra, extra small. This was sort of, sort of like semi-sheer uh, blouse with a V-neck, like a notch V-neck in this uh, crazy colors and this sold for $20 went to Greer South Carolina out of $20 I made $16 after Poshmark takes 20% so let's go and see what my graph looks like they moved the graph they move this around once in a while it used to be in the middle now it's over to the right <laughs> but <clears throat> You can see, I don't know why that question mark has to be right there. I only had really one good day, and it was on Tuesday. I made uh, $175 that day. The rest of the days were below $100.
So not a, a rousing week, but see uh, the numbers. The numbers all seem to be up, though, if you look at the green things here. Total sales, $524.69. After fees and everything, I netted $283.91. I sold 21 items. And the average selling price. Excuse me. Average selling price was $24.99. Okay. Now when we come back here, I'll tell you the numbers for Poshmark. Because I did remember to do them this week. So, stop sharing. Okay. Remember, $24.99 was the average selling price for eBay. My average selling price for Poshmark was $23.33. So just like a dollar, a little more than a dollar less. But I did have some really good sales on eBay, on Poshmark. So I had some lower sales too. So anyway, uh, I grossed $280 on Poshmark. And that came to a net amount of $218.84 to add on to my amount that I made on, on eBay, which was, now I forget, I should have written that down to give you a total. Let's go back here a minute. I'm curious. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, net sales two eighty three ninety one. Let me add these two eighty three ninety one. This is what I've netted. Five seventeen. Twelve nine ten four. Between the two together, I netted five hundred and two dollars and nine and seventy. I don't know if that's a nine or seven, 75 cents, I'll say. So over $500. So if if I did that every week, I, I would get my $2,000 for the week, which that's what I wanted to do uh, in the beginning. Hi, Bumblebee. You're traveling, they're going to perform again. Okay. Okay. Thanks for checking in, though. Let me uh, come back here. <clears throat> okay. Why are these little things shooting out on my... <laughs> uh, okay. You have a beautiful day to travel, Bumblebee. If, if your weather is as good uh, as you're traveling over there. It should be the same, I think. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I, I'm going I'm going to go back out and catch the end of it here. Uh, my dog, I took my dog to the vet, did I tell you? Because she had that itching and licking and shaking. It was all due to an allergy, uh, to what we don't know, of course. You never know what they're allergic to. But uh, she was itchy all over, and that makes them even more anxious than this dog is already. So she's been put on, because she had, her whole muzzle was red in the morning. I took her, forget what day I took her, a few days ago. I took her to the vet. Because uh, I looked at her and her whole muzzle was red and one side was swollen. So she had either just gotten into something or this was all part of the allergic reaction. But I took her right up to the vet. It's only two minutes away up the road. And uh, 
She said, yes, it's an allergic reaction, and that's part of the shaking and the licking at night, too. So she's on ceflexin, which is an antibiotic, and she's on prednisone. Uh, the prednisone, you know, you're on, <clears throat> she's on like a half a tablet once a day for five days, and then a half a tablet every other day for five days. That's how they do pred. So she's already better. After the first prednisone, it, there was a big improvement. So we have a few more days to go into next week. And she should be better. I hope it doesn't come back after the prednisone gets out of her body. But you never really know what they're allergic to. That's the trouble with allergies. It's maddening. So just keep an eye on it. I have to call the doctor tomorrow and let her know uh, that she is improving. Uh, the little Penny yeah, had her little episode, medical episode this week. Yeah, I am too. Uh, yeah. She kept me up for at least two nights straight with the licking and the shaking. And we both needed to get her to get better. <clears throat> so everything's fine now. I just have to remember the pills because the... Uh, the antibiotics is three times a day. So I have my alarm on my phone set. And I just gave her her pills before I came on here. So the next one's at 10 o'clock tonight. So I will uh, try to be on or put a recorded video on sometime in the middle of the week. I'm going to try to do one of those whatever videos, everyday life videos. And, uh, yeah, I will see you then. Good sales, everybody. Bye.